nothing better than making patients and residents smile. And that's exactly what's going on today at Accolade Healthcare Paxton Senior Living. I've got Kara Hodebeck joining us today from Transitions Hospice. What is going on today, Kara? So one of the things that we really love to do is to bring forth a sense of community uh, service with our company. And that's one of the things that we're doing today. We're providing uh, hot dogs for National Hot Dog Day. Which is today. Which is today. So we have all these people out here enjoying their tasty dogs. Yes. So why is it so important to you guys that you make your patients smile? Well, one of the things that Transitions Hospice lives by is that it's about living. So bringing forth the community and doing as much as we can to make people happy while they're still with us, that's what we're all about. So Kara, tell us a little bit about your role with Transitions and what you do. So um, I am the Regional Hospice Coordinator for Transitions and I'm actually the first point of contact. So whenever ha any anybody has someone who's needing hospice care or palliative care, they contact our company and I'm the one who will sit down and discuss services with them, what they can expect from Transitions and answer any questions that they have. Um, my role uh, is also to be the liaison even after that. You know, whenever we have someone who admits to our services, they'll contact me if they've got any questions. They can also contact our company. Uh, but typically, I want them to contact me. We have a personal relationship after that point, And I want to make sure that services live up to their standards. And I want to be able to help, you know, whenever they're first admitted and even past them. You told me that it's really important to you that people in our community and our viewers know what Transitions Hospice is before they're faced with making that difficult phone call. Mm -hmm. So why is it so important to you? I had um, my mother on hospice back in 2009 and it wasn't a great experience. And what I was left with was a sense of wanting to bring anything that I could. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a CNA. I've not been blessed with those types of skills. Um, so when I found out about Transitions Hospice and the services that they provide, it made me want to be a part of that team and bring that to these patients. This is the service that my mother should have gotten. Thank you for that honest answer, Karen. Thank you for the work that you do every day. We're going to move things over and talk to Jessica, who has a little bit more on their community outreach. All right, guys, we are back now, and I have Jessica Lyles joining me now. She is also with Transitions Hospice. Jessica, tell me a little bit about the partnership between Accolade Healthcare and Transitions. So Accolade is part of um, one of the contracted facilities that we service in our area. We go all over Fort Ir Iroquois, Vermilion County, champaign Pyatt, Douglas, DeWitt, up to Springfield, Decatur, um, and so on. But we really want to bring the effort to be able to come to each one of our buildings and show some community support, doing something nice for our buildings. Accolade is one building that um, we chose to do a national hot dog um, surprise for, um, but we do many other things for all of our other contracted facilities as well. Specifically, what does that relationship look like between you guys and these nursing homes? Well, one, we want to make sure that we're meeting patients and their families before they ever need to call us. It's really important that we're able to establish that partnership. Um, and prior to COVID, we were able to go into buildings and see people face to face, um, answer questions that were very vulnerable and personal, and really get to know them beforehand. Since COVID happened, we haven't really been able to go into buildings um, and, and really foster that relationship like we we're used to. So we're trying to think outside of the box, do creative things to get people out in nice weather and still tell them that we're here for them. Tell me a little bit about your facilities. What does your service really look like for these patients? Mm -hmm. So we go anywhere you call home, whether that is your home residency, an apartment, condo, house residential, and um senior living, assisted living, memory care, independent living, and skilled care nursing facility. Wherever there's an address, we will service a patient. They don't necessarily have to be a patient to get a visit, especially from an RHC, a regional hospice coordinator. We want to make sure that we're brightening their lives, whether they're a patient or a resident at one of our communities. I want to demonstrate just how much you guys go above and beyond for your patients. Kara's back now, and I think, Kara, you have a friend to call over. I do. Tinkerbell. Here comes Tinkerbell. 
Tinkerbell. So, so Jessica, who is Tinkerbell here? Uh, Tinkerbell is one of our companion care dogs. She is a, a blessing to Transitions Hospice. Um, she's actually Kara's dog, and we love to be able to go and visit residents wherever they call home to provide visits with Tink. I'm sure Tink here gets lots of special attention and plenty of belly rubs, huh? For sure. Thank you so much for being here today and sharing that with us. Guys, for more information on Accolade Healthcare and Transitions Hospice, we've got you connected to their websites. All you have to do is go online to ciliving.tv. And happy National Hot Dog Day! Yay!